Hi everyone, welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be crocheting this awesome zero waste uh, reusable produce bag that should help reduce your plastic and also keep your veggies organized at the same time. So for this I'm going to be using a size 15 millimeter crochet hook which is really big. But don't get discouraged. If you don't have a crochet hook this size, just grab the biggest one that you have and try that. And I'm also going to be using 100% cotton yarn. I actually got this at a thrift store, so I'm not sure if this brand's still around, but I do know that it's 100% cotton and that it's a size 4 medium weight. So just keep that in mind. Um, I encourage you to use cotton because you won't have to deal with little plastic pieces getting in your produce and it's a lot less fuzzy. So you don't really have to worry about your lettuce and kale getting caught as much as you would an acrylic yarn. So to begin, I'm just going to attach my yarn to my crochet hook. And we are going to chain 16. Once you have your 16 chains, what we're going to do is we are going to crochet into the back loops only. And that might be kind of confusing, so you just kind of have to spread out your stitches to see it. So we're going to skip this first stitch and we're going to go right into the second stitch from our hook. And working in the back loop only, we're going to place a single crochet. And don't get discouraged if it's a little bit confusing now because it gets better. So go ahead and place one single crochet in each of the back loops. And once you get to the end of the row, it should look something like this. But instead of turning your work, what we're going to do is we are going to dive right into those front loops. So go ahead and insert your hook there and we're going to place a single crochet in each of the front loops on the other side of our chain. So once you get to the end of your row, it should look something like this. So now what you're going to want to do is place one single crochet in the full stitch of each of these stitches across. And so what you're going to do is you're going to keep placing single crochets going all the way around and you're just going to keep crocheting in the round to build up the sides of your produce bag. And just keep in mind that this is an endless pattern, so you don't have to start and stop each row. So I went ahead and crocheted about 20 more rows of placing one single crochet in each stitch across. So it looks sort of like a bag now, as you can tell. So I'm just going to show you how to quickly finish off this pattern. So once you get it to your desired length, which like I said was about 20 extra rows for me for a total of 23 rows in the pattern, all you want to do is just place one slip stitch in the next three stitches. So to do that, we'll just go ahead and place our slip stitches accordingly. And then you just want to tie off your yarn from here. So I went ahead and tied it off, and so now all I'm going to do is just weave a piece of the string in between each of these stitches going in and out like this, all along this top row here. And once you're done weaving it in and out of that top row, I suggest going ahead and placing a couple of knots in these ends so that they don't pull through as easily and also to keep them from fraying. But as you can see, your produce bag will scrunch up really easily like a drawstring bag. Congratulations, you are now done crocheting your zero waste produce bag and it is ready for use. I do have a couple of tips for you. I highly recommend that you take a piece of brightly colored fabric and tie it somewhere up at the top up here with the tear weight. Make sure it's large enough so that the cashiers can read it. And I have one more tip of the day for you. I like to bring a dish towel with me or a hand towel when I go to the grocery store and I like to wipe off any excess water that's created by those sprinkler machines. I don't know if your grocery stores have those, but mine do because the cotton will definitely absorb that in a second. So I highly recommend you bring a little towel and you wipe off all of your produce before you actually stick it in the produce bag to kind of eliminate any added weight. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues or if you were successful at making this. I'm really curious about your zero waste adventures and I love reading about them. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.